Hello, students. Today we're going to look at an oral presentation by Stefania Ferrario. Stefania has over 1 million followers on Instagram. She's also on TikTok with over 300, something like 350,000. And let's see what she's saying here. She's saying that vegan teacher is right. You're mad. Now, you know that mad can have two meanings. It can mean that you're angry or it can mean that you are crazy. So let's have a look together and see what exactly Stefania is talking about. And let's get out our notebooks and our little pencils or markers. And you guys write also, every time you hear something good that you think makes sense, a logical fact, um, you can make a check mark. And remember that we're also going to put an X if we hear something that we don't like. So let's have a listen. Here we have a classic case of, it's easier to shoot the messenger than to accept the damn message. Miss Katie, otherwise known as That Vegan Teacher, worked 18 hours a day since March last year and garnered over 1.7 million followers on TikTok, all for the purpose of making the world a better place. Miss Katie has single-handedly made veganism a hot topic for the youth of today. They can't get enough of her. That vegan teacher, the TikTok superstar. The vegan teacher is probably the craziest person on all of TikTok. Have you seen this? That vegan teacher. I actually have. A fish feel pain. I mean, a fish would feel pain if it saw them. That vegan teacher has truly gone insane this time. That vegan teacher, our favorite psychotic vegan teacher. <laughs> Vegan yep. That vegan teacher just kind of like making fun of her. Vegans are preachy morons that want to ruin everyone's life. Her name is the vegan teacher. She's very hated. Can be vegan from now on. We like to imagine that we're good people. You know, if we eat meat, well, the meat we buy comes from ethical farms. It comes from the local butcher. It was free range. The sad truth of the matter is that those labels don't mean anything. And in the US, 99% of animals bred for human consumption grow up on factory farms. And it doesn't matter where they grow up really, because in the end, they all go to slaughterhouses or they all get killed so that we can get pleasure from them, from their bodies. So what happened to that vegan teacher? The claims made against that vegan teacher are untrue and extremely misleading. Check mark. Thank you, Stefania. Stefania is right, and I want to thank Stefania also for showing some of the footage of what the animals actually go through, because most people don't really understand the incredible torture and sadness that goes on with the animals who suffer so much every minute of every day in the industries. They end up on your hamburgers. They end up in your hot dogs. They are chicken wings. They are abusive. They're not food. They are violence. So thank you, Stefania. They are clips taken out of context. They are clips that are misrepresenting her. Yes, people do do that. They take clips out of context and they misrepresent. Thank you. That's two more check marks. Uh, that have been compiled together and YouTubers have done hit pieces on her. People have spread blatant lies about her. Yep, hit pieces. Thank you. That's true. And also blatant lies. Thank you, Stefania. I'm... I appreciate that you looked into this and actually did some research, unlike so many other YouTubers who just copied each other without getting to the source. So, way to go so far. Some of them claim she has been the reason people have died. Some of them claim she... Nobody has ever died because of my activism, because nobody dies from eating fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, pastas, and all of these other healthy foods. That's a lie that people tell. The reason they tell that is because they perhaps couldn't stick to eating what they were supposed to eat. They feel nervous. They feel guilty. And so they try to blame the messenger. And they try to say, oh, my brother's sister's father's son died. And these are all lies. But people start to believe them. Look, does this woman look unhealthy to you? She's vegan. There are all kinds of people in the world who are vegan. Nobody dies from being vegan. You die if you don't eat properly. But just don't eat improperly. Eat properly. It's not that hard. She has stalked people, that she's homophobic, that she's... 
That's, I have never stalked anybody. Thank you for pointing out that, that. And I'm not homophobic. Thank you for pointing that out. You got another two check marks. People lied and said that I stalked somebody. Stalking means that you go and you follow somebody around and you disturb them and you spy on them in their house and things like that. I never did that. All I did is a few videos on TikTok playing with other people. We're just playing a game. One of us posts something, somebody takes a clip of it and then goes on with that and makes another little story. That's all I did. I encouraged everybody to eat fruits and vegetables. That's what I did for 11 months. But people twisted that around. And that's a shame because it's the animals who will suffer. She's racist, she's anti-Semitic, she's all of... I'm not racist, thank you for pointing that out and I am not anti-Semitic. In fact, I stand up for the rights of all of these individuals. I don't like abuse of any kind just like Stefania. These things, but it's not true. It's not true, but it is easier to brand this woman with all of these labels because we don't want to accept the truth. We want to continue thinking we're good people and we don't want to be told that we're bad people, that we are actually funding animal abuse. Every this is what you pay for. There's no need for that. If you have a grocery store nearby, you can just buy anything else. Just stop putting animals into your cart. Stop stealing their milk. Stop stealing their eggs. You can do it. You can be vegan from now on. Right now. Right now. Or right now. It's entirely up to you. I urge you not to listen to all of the other YouTubers who keep spreading these lies. All they care about is views and money. They don't actually care about the innocent victims. I do. Please subscribe. Got my little button here. Please subscribe to this channel. Press the little bell there so you'll get more notifications. We're going to learn a lot about what goes on together. These innocent cows never did a single thing wrong to us. Most of them are just babies. It's so sad. You know what else is sad? The people who have to work in these places, often they have no other jobs that they can get and they have families to feed. They don't want to kill animals all day. Often they're immigrants. Sometimes they've come from wars. They've come to our country to escape the war and then they need to feed their family and that's the only job that they can get. Imagine how traumatizing that is. Imagine a child who knows that their mom or dad, all day they work killing animals. But if we stop funding this, if we stop paying for it, then these factories will close and all of the farmers will start to grow plants. And it'll be so great because we won't have to kill this many animals. Right? It's amazing to me that somebody like Stefania is smart enough to see all of this and see the truth. But so many men here, so many men here on YouTube have made a, videos that have been cruel, li told lies about me. Every time we sit down for a meal, that we are actually funding the destruction of habitats of native animals, that we... So Stefania is also talking about the natural habitat of animals. So this also affects the environment. Thank you so much for pointing that out. That's great. Veganism is about the animals. And if we don't protect their environment, then that affects all of us. That's another reason to be vegan. We are funding deforestation, water pollution, water consumption, ocean. Water pollution. Ocean dead zones. This is all that happens. And many young people who here are here on YouTube who think that Life is just one big video game. It's not. There are serious consequences. And I will not be here later. I will die. And you will be here with a planet that is ruined. With a destroyed ecosystem. If you're following any YouTubers who are not actually helping to make the world a better place, I suggest that you look at the button and press unsubscribe. I think you know exactly who I mean. People who just find it funny to trash talk others. Maybe you think it's funny.
But if you really look at it, it's not. It's far from funny. Funny is when everyone laughs at the joke. Not when there are victims who are hanging upside down with their throats slit, bleeding, and who lived a lifetime of terror before ending up that way. There's nothing, nothing funny about making fun of animal rights activists or the animals that they are trying to defend. Thank you, Stefania, for this video. So far, it's pretty great. Dead zones. We don't want to believe any of that. We want to think that the food we eat is sound, it's ethical, it's good. But Miss Katie knows she is wrong, because that is far easier to tell ourselves than to even contemplate for some people the idea of cutting out animal products. Now, Miss Katie, she often addresses YouTubers and other TikTokers. And so she's appealing to the youth of today, the generation that's coming up. Because she probably thinks that it's easier, also with a teaching background, to be able to connect with the youth and to be able to teach them. Also, they are the ones that are going to shape our future. So she's being very clever in targeting that age group. Now, the people she targets, they love to swear in their YouTube videos. Not that there's anything wrong with this. They make all kinds of politically incorrect jokes. I've watched some of these videos of people that have tried to completely dismantle Miss Katie. And they do all the things and more that they accuse her of doing. They say things that could be misconstrued and taken out of context and used to label them, except people don't have the drive to attack these YouTubers because these YouTubers aren't telling them to stop doing something that they are so used to doing. Miss Katie is telling people to stop consuming animal products. And so they have a reason, they have a drive, they have a want to bring her down. I so... Stefania is saying something that's absolutely true. They feel guilty for hurting animals. They feel guilty for paying people to take baby cows away from their mothers, kill them, and then steal their milk. They feel guilty about that. But instead of just stopping the behavior or pointing out to these other YouTubers that, hey, maybe you guys should make a pro-vegan teacher video similar to this, they don't do it because they want to keep eating dead animals because they taste good. But our taste pleasure is not a reason to hurt an innocent being who never did one single thing wrong to us ever. It's not a reason. The food that ends up on your plate, if it's not veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, and legumes, it comes from violence and suffering. Why would you even want to bring that into your body at all anyway? I haven't seen in these YouTube response videos people actually addressing Miss Katie's core message. That's another great point. Thank you for that. I'll give her a check mark. People don't actually talk about what I'm talking about. They'll talk about my hair or my glasses or the way that I say something, but they won't actually talk about what I am saying, my words, which are that we must stop exploiting animals. We must stop eating them, wearing them, using them putting them in circuses. We must stop taking whales out of the ocean and putting them into theme parks. All of it. Even riding horses. It hurts the horses. A horse doesn't want to have their spirit broken and somebody on their back with a bit in their mouth that's controlling them. We will never have a safe and happy world as long as we are exploiting innocent victims. And I'm talking about the animals and the humans. We must all stop and we must call out the bullies. If you ever see anybody here on, on YouTube who's asking for viewers and asking for money and wants to increase their viewership, but they're not actually doing anything good to help the humans or the animals or the planet, find the unsubscribe button and unsubscribe. Yeah. And then go and find animal rights activists and follow them and imitate them. Practice to sit in front of your camera like Stefania did and just speak out and just say, even if it's just one or two minutes, just say, hey, I used to eat animals, but then I saw that vegan teacher and I realized I don't have to. So here I am, day one, gonna try not to eat them. I ask you to go, there's a link below called Challenge 22. You can go there and you can try to become vegan. They help you along for 22 days. You could do it. They help you with recipes. They help you give you reasons why you should be vegan. 
They seem to address the way she said something, or the analogy she used, or oh my god, I can't believe she used that word. Hello, stop for a minute. What is her core message? Hello, stop for a minute. What is my core message? Thank you, Stefania. How did she become so smart? What does she have that people like Pancho and Derpian and all these other guys, Nadler or whatever his name is, how, how is it that she is smarter than them? How is it that she's more compassionate than them? Message, what is she trying to tell you? What is her reason for even being on TikTok or YouTube or platforms in the first place? It's to tell you to stop funding this industry. That is her main drive. That is the reason she is on TikTok in the first place. She's trying to better the world. And you're out here trying to tarnish her. There's even other vegans that will push this propaganda that she's bad and she's this and she's that because they're embarrassed. They don't want negative attention drawn to, to the movement. They just want to be able to go on happily and they don't want that negativity. They want to appease the public, the public who doesn't want to hear this message. And so they want to please them. They want to make them feel okay. It's like, yeah, no, we're against that vegan teacher too. We don't like her. Why? The way Why is a very good question, Stefania. And why is it that you are so brave? I really am curious, what is the ingredient that this woman has that everyone else doesn't have? See, she's vegan, she's an animal rights activist, and she's not afraid to say, I stand by that vegan teacher, whereas everybody else is like, oh, she's a bit weird, and no, no, we, we don't want to associate, that, that vegan teacher is weird. But what is it that Stefania has? What is that ingredient that makes her be able to say, no, let's cut through the bullshit, and hello, that vegan teacher seems amazing. That's what she's saying. I'm fascinated. If there are any psychologists who are able to evaluate all this, let us know. Because whatever she has, whatever food she's been eating, whatever kind of parents she has, whatever kind of environment she grew up in, whatever kind of books she has read, that's what we should be doing. Making sure that we expose all of the other people here on YouTube too. Because she's a critical thinker, she's able to think for herself. And now she risks getting a lot of hate as well. How brave of her. And do you know what? When World War II was happening, these are the people who were trying to save the Jews. Have a look. These are the people who stood up. Not the people who are playing video games and just making fun of everybody. Those are the ones who assured that they ended up in the gas chambers because they didn't speak out to help. We need a better world and we need good people to raise their voices. We need good people to be brave and to speak out against injustice. The way you make change is you get people to listen to you. And if that means shouting on the street, if that... She's talking now about Tash Peterson. This is another young woman. This is a woman from Australia who does what I do. She does a lot of animal rights activism and she tries to get attention to herself so that the attention can go on the animals. She doesn't want the attention for her, herself to get money and views. She actually cares. She gives a shit. She stands there and has people yelling at her. She's scared because grown men come this far from her face and yell at her. And she's trying to say, McDonald's, tell them the truth. Watch Dominion.com. Does that sound familiar? Who else has been telling you to watch that documentary for 11 months? And I mean, watch it and actually watch it. Not like some of the cowards here who have said that they've watched it, but they have been talking the whole time to their friends, so not actually listening to the facts. And then they block out the, the parts where we are seeing what the animals actually go through. Essentially, they have not watched the documentary. They have not been brave enough to do so. They've been in a gang of little boys and they just talk the whole way. Why is it that we have women here? Tasha. Stefania, or sorry, Tash Peterson. I think her name is Tasha actually, but Tash Peterson and myself. Where, why is it that three women are brave enough 
to consistently go against the grain and brave enough to tell the truth. And so few men. We also have freely the banana girl who speaks out on behalf of the animals. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other women. We need to lift each other up in this movement. We need to talk about each other and how we are helping and help one another. Are you a woman right, right, right now who's watching or a teenage girl? Can you picture yourself doing this? Or this? Just sitting here talking about the animals? Or what Stefania is doing? She just put her camera there. It looks like she's in her bedroom and she just talked. You can totally do that. And it, you don't have to be super smart about it. You just have to talk from the heart and just say, you know, I've made this decision today that I don't want to hurt animals anymore. And you can even say, I don't exactly know how to go about it. I don't know how to cook. I guess I'm going to Google some vegan recipes. I guess I'm going to go to howdoigovegan.com and read some articles, right? And you can just start like that and film your journey because it will be so fascinating for people to watch you learn about the reasons why it's so important for the animals, for our planet and for our own health to become vegan. And gradually when that happens, when women, good women, teenagers, when we girls and other good men rise, these delinquent YouTubers who are there simply to tell lies and make the world a worse place, they will start to vanish. How cowardly of those guys, really. You know, those are the kind of people who act so tough and they're the schoolyard bullies, but as soon as they are injured themselves, they come running to the teacher. I see them all the time at school. Come running to the teacher and say, oh, now I'm so sad and he hurt me. And then they expect me to defend them. After they've just bullied and been rude in class and mean and, you know, grow up. Men of society, it's really time. It is time for you to grow up and imitate all three of us women. That means making crazy TikToks. If that's going to get headlines, if that's going to get people talking, if that's going to get people looking over in your direction to what it is, what is your movement? What are you doing? What are these people doing? This propaganda we have been fed for so long that we need milk, we need meat. We Good. Check mark. It's propaganda. We don't need milk. We don't need meat. These are old advertisements from way back in the day. You know what doctors used to tell their patients? They told them that they should smoke. That's right. They used to tell them to smoke. And doctors now are still telling their patients to eat some of these things that they don't need to eat. And ethically, it is their responsibility to say to their patients, you know what? You can be vegan and you can save the planet. So how about you try that? So I want to applaud all the vegan doctors out there. All the vegan dietitians, all the vegan nurses and vegan physiotherapists, vegan psychologists, vegan psychiatrists, all of you are amazing. We need eggs. We don't need. That's right. We don't need eggs. We need these things. And at the moment, you're all kidding yourselves. You're all lying to yourselves. Okay. I, I, she's getting so many check marks. She's absolutely right. All of those people who say that they think they need those things, they're all lying to themselves. Because they've been told over and over by me, by Tash Peterson, and now by Stefania. You don't need these products, you don't need to eat them. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has confirmed it, that a well-balanced vegan diet is appropriate for all stages of development, from infancy all the way to becoming a grandparent, or being a grandparent. You can be a mother who's pregnant and you can be healthy as a vegan. Your newborn baby is, of course, born vegan. If your baby drinks your, your milk, that is vegan. That is your milk. When you take milk from another species, that's stealing. That's speciesism. That's carnism. That's wrong. And you're all trying to character assassinate that vegan teacher. Canceling. Thank you. Another check mark for being able to see what's really happening here. Trying to character assassinate me. Stefania, where did you get such a big brain and such a big heart? Killing Miss Katie won't make the truth go away. 
the truth will still fester behind slaughterhouse walls and in your subconscious. So what will it be, folks? Are you going to be on the side of change for the good? Or are you going to try and maintain the barbaric ways that we're going about life right now? And remember, you ought to be proud of the decision you make when your grandchildren ask you, hey, grandpa, grandma, when they were abolishing animal agriculture, did you fight to abolish it too? I have the word bad here. I'm going to cross it out. And I'm going to give you 100% on your assignment. Really proud of you, Stefania. Stefania, if you ever need my help with your activism, you let me know. I'm here to help you. We must stay together as animal rights activists to defend the most innocent among us. They're suffering every minute of the day in silence where we can't see them. And yes, it might be a little bit of a change for you. It takes a few days to get used to a different habit. To be honest, it took me seven months to get used to soy milk. Now, I'm so used to it. I love it. I could just drink it by the glass full. But it took me a while. I took little shot glasses of it at a time. Like, okay, I'll get used to this because we're tough when we decide to be. It's all in our heads. Open your heart, open your head and be vegan and subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Oop, there. Press the little button. I'm not sure where it is on your computer, but just look. If you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe and hit the little bell because most times we watch videos together and I'm in the comment section reading your comments and if you want to read to me you can ask me a question there and thank you to everybody who's been donating money to help me i recently have a leak in my roof water has been dripping <laughs> dripping in by the big chunk from this big hole into my bedroom so you know i've been working 18 hours a day on tiktok i've not made one single penny on tiktok ever not one penny so any bit helps I'm here for the animals and I know that many of you are too and I'm so, so proud and honored to know people like Stefania. Truly a great person. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.